Good morning students. Today's class we will see about the essential obstetric care. Approximately 15% of expected births worldwide will result in life-threatening complications during pregnancy, delivery or in the postpartum period. Providers skilled in emergency obstetric care and newborn care services are essential, particularly in the countries with the high burden of maternal and newborn mortality. Providers have been educated to deliver high-impact maternal and newborn health interventions such as prevention and treatment of postpartum hemorrhages and preeclampsia, eclampsia and management of birth asphyxia with in the border of context of quality health services. Worldwide, more than half a million women die each year due to pregnancy-related causes and vast majority of these deaths are due to direct obstetric complications like hemorrhage, sepsis, complication of abortion, hypertensive disorders of pregnancy, ruptured uterus and ectopic pregnancy. In addition, 4 million neonatal deaths occur in each year, accounting for the estimated 40% of deaths among children below 5 years of age. Essential obstetric care means professional, medical and surgical care for a pregnant woman with a sp special focus on delivery and immediate postpartum period. Essential obstetric care is a term used to describe the elements of obstetric care needed for the management of a normal and complicated pregnancy, delivery and the postpartum period. Essential obstetric care is divided into two levels of care that is basic EOC and comprehensive EOC. Basic EOC facility is the one provides six signal functions like parental antibiotics, parental oxytocin, parental anticonvulsant, manual removal of placenta, assisted vaginal delivery, and removal of retained products of conception, often via manual vacuum aspiration. Comprehensive essential obstetric care facility is the one in which provide all the six signal functions of BOC facilities in addition to it able to offer two further signal functions like blood transfusion surgeon section when these are needed. Basic essential obstetric care service at the health center should include at least the following. A panel antibiotics, panel oxytoxic drugs, panel sedatives for eclampsia, manual removal of placenta and manual removal of retained products. Comprehensive essential obstetric care, that means it to include all those things plus surgery, anesthesia and blood transfusion. For the service at a facility to be considered functional, the elements of care must have been provided during six months previous to data collection. The need for essential obstetric care, effectiveness of an individual components of EOC for the treatment of each of the key complications of pregnancy and childbirth that is addressed well documented. First one is availability of EOC. Availability of EOC measured by assessment of availability of EOC signal functions, number of facilities providing EOC signal functions per 50,000 population as well as geographical distribution of these facilities. United Nations agencies recommend a minimum four facilities functioning at a basic EOC level and one facility at a comprehensive EOC level per population of 50,000. Five lakhs. Measuring essential obstetric care. The six process indicators, also called United Nations process indicators, that have been used to measure the availability, utilization, and quality of EOC. Two of these indicators measure the availability, three measure the utilization, and one measure the quality of care. These ind indicators are first one is availability of EOC, second is geographical distribution of EOC facilities, proportion of the of all birth in EOC facilities met the need for EOC, population based cesarean section rate, case fatality rate. Utilization of EOC. Utilization of EOC is measured by the proportion of birth in EOC facilities met need for EOC and population based cesarean section rate. The target population of birth EOC facilities has been set at 15% based on the assumption that approximately 15% of pregnancies in any population will develop obstetric complications. Quality of EOC, it has been argued that indicators like case fatality rate, the proportion of a woman with a direct obstetric complication admitted to EOC facilities and who dies, is a measure of equality of care offered to a woman with obstetric complication. This is very useful indicator, although three has been there has been debate about whether the complication should be aggregated across health facilities and across complication type. 
access to essential obstetric care. It is recognized the availability of EOC facilities does not mean these will be utilized by all women who need EOC. Geographical, financial and cultural barriers may affect actual utilization. Such barriers or bottlenecks may occur at three different levels. First at the policy and program level. Second at the level of service provision and at the level of community. Policy and programs. Maternal health is not a priority in many countries, especially where there has been competitive for scarce resources with more high profile of health programs. Continued advocacy is needed to ensure adequate resource allocation to a maternal health service, including EOC. A good maternal health policy is important because it creates a platform for removal of barriers accessing to EOC. Where the countries have developed roadmap to maternal health, this this has been helped in identify the specific need for programs to address the problem of high maternal and newborn mortality and morbidity. Human resource policies have also great importance to improve the availability and uptake of EOC. For example, where the nurse midwife has been enabled to provide the, the basic EOC function, this has led to an increased availability of these signal functions. Barriers to service production, barriers to service provision, includes poor availability of EOC service in terms of geographical access and the level of health facilities, inadequate physical infrastructure. There may name me no functioning theater, clean water, electricity, or adequate waste disposal. Facilities may lack equipment, drugs, and sufficient numbers of professional staff available to provide EOC. Many developing countries are facing a severe shortage of health staff. There may be many reasons for this including poor planning and management of human resources, lack of incentives to work in rural area and external migration. The quality of services provided is often substandard due to lack of knowledge, skills of the staff who are often unsupervised and poorly motivated. Barriers to seeking care, women themselves often lack adequate information about danger signs in pregnancy and not aware the need for service provided at a health facility level. In addition, lack of support long distance to health facility, the cost of health care and emergency transport make it difficult for them to access the care. Sometimes, cultural barriers also prevent women seeking from care. For example, in some countries, a woman cannot take into a health facility without permission of her husband or a family, family-in-law, even in the case of emergency. Improving the availability and access to essential obstetric care. It is often said that provision that maternal and newborn health service is a litmus test for the health system as a whole. When had the health policy, health policy is supportive to maternal health can facilitate access to quality of EOC. This includes a policy, free material, maternal health services, free or subsidized emergency transport and having a national minimum service package that includes the key components of maternal and newborn health service. Infrastructure, a needs assessment might be necessary to determine what specific infrastructure improvements are needed to upgrade the health facility to functional EOC facilities. This may include reimbursement of buildings, upgrading operating theaters, labor and delivery rooms, maternity ward, laboratories, as well as a provision for clean water, reliable in the electricity and adequate waste disposal. Equipment and supplies, additional equipment such as vacuum extractors, MVS sets, resuscitation equipments and basic medical instruments and delivery beds may have to be supplied to facilities which are to be upgraded to an EOC facility. It is important that management systems for maintenance of equipment, furniture as well as buildings and for continued supplies of drugs and consumables are put in place. Referral system. An effective referral system is crucial to ensure that women with life-threatening obstetric complications have timely access to EOC. This includes emergency transport and communication for the health district to manage obstetric emergencies as adequately. There should be a good transport and communication system between health facility or BOC facilities and comprehensive EOC facilities. Human resources. There are several human resources issues that need to be addressed to improve the quality of EOC. They include building, hum building human resource planning and management capacity both at the level of central government within the facility, improving supervision, strengthening pre-service and in-service training and supervision and development of health staff retention initiative. 
to ensure long term sustainability of eoc there is a need to build capacity of district health management teams to plan and manage maternal health programs this might involve training or hands on transfer of knowledge and skills in addition there is a need to train health staff in post particularly with regard improving the practical skills health information system the attempts should be made to strengthen existing health information system to capture the data for monitoring and evaluation of eoc this might require training of healthcare providers and his staff provide pro improve their data recording and reporting skills it might also include training on perceptions understanding of the importance of data recording reporting analysis and use of information for decision making removing financial barriers financial barriers are recognized as a major barrier to access eoc service having to pay for emergency healthcare does not only prevent women from receiving this care but may exacerbate the poverty and long term indebtedness it may also challenge social expectations and part patterns of reciprocity between husbands wives and wider social network eoc is relatively cost effective intervention that can prevent about half of maternal death cost by 24% of who mother baby package improving the quality of eoc even where the eoc service available and accessible women may die of obstetric complication if the service of poor quality it is therefore vital that the women receive the best standard of care that the country can afford based on local resources there may be many ways improving the quality of eoc services including clinical obstetric audit setting the service delivery standards providing guidelines and protocols for standardized care and continued in service training Everyone supports the use of maternal death audit to review the near miss and criterion based audit to improve the quality and utilization of maternity care. Improving the health seeking behavior, health education is the important to improve the health seeking behavior. That that means this is necessary to raise the awareness of the dangers of signs in pregnancy and the importance of urgent medical treatment when the complications occur and availability of EOC. Community participation and mobilizations are also important to create supportive environment to enable women to access EOC. Men's participation is particularly important in addressing gender issues. Availability and access of EOC is a critical component in many in any maternal health center program aims to reduce maternal and newborn mortality and morbidity. In many settings, agreed minimum coverage of EOC is not met. In most cases, specific bottlenecks or barriers for to achieve the improved coverage can easily be identified and must be addressed as a matter of urgency. Thank you. Thank you for listening.